Hello, this is Travis from the future, uh, jumping in to kind of give you the too long, didn't read version of what's going to happen. It's about a six minute video, so feel free to fast forward or just not watch it. It's mostly me iterating how I'm going to do the project, but overall, overarching what the project is, is an auto leather stamper. Um, I make small decorative leather journals for my family and friends, and to like automate this process would be really neat. Um, because one, I'm really, <laughs> I'm not the best at making a consistent pattern. And two, uh, it's hard on the body to, to just hold this stamp and be hammering it. Uh, and maybe I'm losing some of the catharsis of, of making something with my hands, but, uh, this is me attempting to be superhuman with engineering. So, uh, the rest of this is, is me just kind of going through it and I'll post some pictures of what I have here. Okay. Bye. Okay, uh, first kind of experiment that I'm doing is I have an Arduino and an Arduino CNC shield. I was planning on using it to make a like a laser, a small laser engraver or something like that. Uh, this is the perfect use for it, and I really haven't I haven't touched it since uh, since I bought it, but it's around. Um, so let me show you real quick what I've got going on here. All right, there's the 12 volt power supply. There's the CNC shield attached to the Arduino down there. We have two uh, A4988 stepper drivers. They've been tuned with a VREF to um, uh, 1.1 volts, which I think comes out to like 1.5 amps, and these are rated for 1.7 amps. All this is stuff I've had to Google uh, previously and so now I'm not too I'm not too worried about it but we got it mucked up we have finally figured out how to run Gerbil um, and then we've got power so oh that's the other one let's do X okay and we've got them moving we have to figure out still appropriate uh, feed rate and all that sort of stuff I'm going to start testing it now and figuring out homing and that sort of stuff but that's where we're at Ah, I almost forgot. Um, as far as pneumatic stuff or pistons, ugh, I'll have these hooked up hopefully today and I'll have another video out, but I got two pistons. One is a three quarter inch um, piston. And I think the force pneumatically is like 150 pounds. Um, here's a, I think it's a half inch. Maybe that's the three quarter inch and that's 1.1, yeah. But we'll test them both to see if they can actually stamp leather. That's the, one of the major questions. Most leather stamping things are like a one-ton arbor press, which is 2,000 pounds. But um, the force needed is calculated by uh, PSI times, so it's pounds per square inch, multiplied by the size of the stamp. And the stamp is about a half inch, so it's double... Like a high heel is, is more pressure than an elephant's foot on the ground, right? Because it's a hundred and something whatever pounds translated to like a, a one half square inch or something. So with these and like a half inch squared stamp, we'll see. Um, if these, if neither of these work, I'll have to find a double acting, because these are both single acting. I'll have to find a double acting uh, stamp. Uh, to do the stamping or to control these, there is this 12 volt pneumatic valve. And I believe if I can't pull 12 volts off of the Arduino board, this little guy right here, if you can see it, there it is. I've got 12 volts going into it, but if I can't get 12 volts off of that, uh, I've got buck converters, which step DC up. So it pushes it from, you know, three volts to 12 volts with whatever magic they do and that sort of thing. And then that should get that to actuate and push this out. <sighs> Finally, uh, the stamping platform I'm gonna use is similar to what I use for my basic leatherworking stuff, but it's a slab of granite um, or whatever stone this is. And I've got a larger one, but um, this one was fairly cheap and it's more of the form factor that I would wanna use for um, for stamping on, I think most of the things I'm trying to do size-wise are three and a half inches by five and a half inches 
maybe it's like eight eight by five, but this is big enough crossways to get at least half of what I'm doing on there, which is all I need. So yeah, that's uh that's the update for the day. We're using um, quarter inch tubing outer diameter with uh, whatever inner diameter and then running it from the air compressor I have in the garage. We'll test it out to see if it works and I'll have another video soon. All right, apologize if you can hear the fan and it's uh, a distraction. Anyways, I found that I was thinking about the fact that a pneumatic switch that would like, you know, run a piston, it was like 50, 40, 50 bucks. I was thinking, oh man, I'll be, I can do this so easy. And it <laughs> kind of works. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I have to take it off every single time. But just feeling how strong this is, like, hmm, I think that's going to be, yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to work really well. Okay. The other thing is, form factor for getting this thing to press down into my leather. I bought some scrap metal a while back. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. So this sort of thing I thought would be... Ah! Hold on. Pause, please. Okay, my idea would be to place or cut out... Maybe cut out like a square, but to have this in here weld a face plate on so I can attach it because it's a nose attaching uh, piston or cylinder and then have have this whole thing attached to kind of an arbor press shaped thing uh, that goes back so that's just a little bit of welding and I think the hardest part is going to be getting it uh, to punch straight down but you know I've got some squares and I think I think I can do it, but we'll see.